so I've heard all week that uh, people have been telling me, like, I've had four conversations with people. Like, Marcus, I could never eat the fruit that you eat because I'd get fat. And even got comments online like that. I would get fat. The only reason why you're not fat is because you're a runner. And I'm like, man, oh, man, you missed the whole point of my last video, okay? I've been a runner my whole life. Um, not my whole life, but for the last 10 years, I've been a runner. I should say I've been an overweight runner for the last 10 years. There were times that I was leaner than other times, uh, but not as lean as I am now. I'm uh, probably 184 pounds right now, six feet tall. And I, got, I got some more to lose, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, but from where I was at 210, 215, 220, even to, uh, to probably 25 at one point um, when I really wasn't running. So the difference, so what I tell people is, man, it's not the running that I'm losing weight on, it's the fruit. It's the good carbs, it's the high quality carbs, it's a low fat diet, low fat, no add, no uh, no fats that are extracted in my diet at all. Um, so no olive oil, um, no, no cooking oils, um, nothing like that. So um, I'm basically on the 80-10-10, which is 80% carbs, 10% fat, 10% protein, and pardon, but I just got done running 20, almost 23 miles, and I would have kept going, but uh, I have to uh, get to my daughter's horse show, and I can't miss her horse show day, it's a Sunday, but um, I was doing exhaustion sprints on mile 19 on the track, I got on the track, and I was just kicking the straightaways, and jogging the uh, the corners, and kicking the straightaways, I ended up with, hooked up with a friend at mile 17, and uh, and rocked it out to 20, almost 23 miles with him. Um, so it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, so again, it's not, it's not that I'm an over, it's not that I was, I'm pulling my car and I'm driving while I'm doing this. Um, it's not the fact that I'm running that I'm losing the weight. Yeah, the running's helping, and a combination of everything helps, but it's a fact of the matter that when I used to do this, I used to run, and I used to eat a high-fat vegetarian diet, and my fat was probably 30% on the low side, 40, even 50%, because I was, I was eating chocolate, raw chocolate with coconut fat. I was eating all kinds, ca cashews by the handful, almonds. I would make almond hummus. I would make, I'd make cashew, like, cream sauces for some raw food. Um, I, I would just eat this stuff like crazy. I mean, I'd buy almonds and just eat them like crazy. So it's extremely high fat. So that all that fat was not allowing me to lose the weight because I'd still run. Now granted, I'm running more distance than I was running. So yeah, that's going to be an effect. But what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? So I'm eating the diet. I'm full of energy. So because I'm full of the energy, I just want to keep running, right? It's just, it doesn't, I don't want to stop. I never had this much energy before, but I would always rock out, you know, 30 miles a week. I, I was an average 20 to 30 miler a week. And, um, you know, I'd run every Sunday with my, my buddies, do seven, eight, nine, ten 10 miles. And people used to say to me, Marcus, for your size, you're pretty fast. And, you know, basically my size was, man, you're overweight, but you're you're not a bad runner for being 215 pounds, six foot tall, right? Or 220. I was, and I wasn't. I was burning a lot of calories. People say, man, you burn a lot of calories. I said, yeah, because I weigh 215. And when you're 215 and you run like that, you you burn a lot of calories. And I even had somebody embarrass me once. They're like, man, you run so much. Why, why are you, why do you have a belly? And it was so embarrassing. But so now that I've finally been doing this 80, 10, 10, I did it two years ago, two summers ago with great success. And I really didn't do it to the T, 80, 10, 10 being 10% fat again, 10% protein, 80% carbs. So now that I've switched over to this, I'm rocking out. I'm rocking these runs out. The weight's fallen off over 30 pounds and three months have come off. Um, and it's because I'm eating the high quality sugar fruits, the fruits, the carbs, I'm able to lose the weight and I'm able to run. So that's what came first. What came first, the food or the running or the weight loss? The food came first, triggered the weight loss, triggered my running, and it's just a snowball effect. So if you're interested in... Um, Diet I'm on. Read the book 801010 by uh, by Douglas Graham. Uh, check out Durian Rider on uh, YouTube. Uh, man knows what he's talking about. He's a uh, he's another high carber. Him and Freely. Check them out on YouTube. And remember, carb up. Damn it, call it.